This video is advertiser friendly and complies with YouTube's advertiser friendly content guidelines. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Breithop, the Unboxing Authority YouTube channel. Someone has asked me to do a demonstration on how to install a VPN service on your computer with OpenVPN and also how to do open DNS setup as well. So let's get started. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the almighty one true God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. These speed tests keep changing because some people are using this cell and they're not. Look, we're now at 50, 60. There we go again. So I was talking about 63. We actually got up to 63 that time. Okay, we're going to upload again. 18.32 upload. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. First thing you're going to want to do is go to JustUseLinux.com and uh, install Just Use Linux on your computer. I have tutorials for that on the website, so you don't need to ask me and don't need to show you because it's shown on the website. Once you've done that, or even before, you need to sign up for an anonymous email address. So... You can go to riseup.com, you can sign up for an email address, or you can go through another anonymous email site. Once you've done that, you need to sign up for a VPN service, such as IVC VPN or OpenVPN, one of the other VPN services um, in the description of this video, or one that accepts Bitcoin, and you need to get an account with them, and they are going to send you an OpenVPN File. All right, so once you get your file, it's going to look like this. It's going to say OVPN at the end of it, dot OVPN. Now all you got to do, if you've got username and password, is go down to your network manager, go to edit, so you hit add new connection, go to the very bottom and hit import a saved VPN configuration. Hit create. Now just select your file that you got in the OVPN from the people that sent it to you, your, your VPN company, and hit open. Now just enter in your username and password and hit save. Once you've done that, it's gonna ask you to establish a password for your key ring. This is a password you need to remember. Then hit unlock. Now to test your connection, click on the network manager, go to VPN connections and click on your VPN connection. You'll see the lock with the circle showing that it's trying to connect. Usually there's only one network icon, not two. All right, so when you get connected to your VPN, this is what it's gonna look like. You go over here. Right now I'm just connected to Proton VPN. I was having some problems with them the last couple of days because they're free VPN and they don't always work. Sometimes I have to connect several times to get through, but I have. So now we're going to look at what is my IP and it says that my IP address is 74149146 and I am in Chicago, Illinois, United States, even though I'm not. I'm in Washington State, USA, not Chicago, Illinois. And so this is how the VPN is working. It is changing my location. It's changing where my internet connection actually comes out at. To disable VPN, you just go over to VPN again down here and click on it and it disables it. All right, so to set up our open DNS, all we got to do is we're just going to go to opendns.com forward slash setup guide. We go down here, we choose our, choose our device. We can set up open DNS in the router which is a really good idea, or just your computer, which we'll do today, smart devices and servers. So if you click on computers, you'll select your operating system, and here we go, we're on Ubuntu. So we're gonna go down here, and it is gonna tell us to configure our network connection. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna hit edit connections, and I will go ahead and edit the wired connection. I want to go to the IP4 settings for this connection, and it says DNS servers right there. So now we are going to stick in the DNS servers. 
So they're telling us to do uh, to these ones. So we're gonna we're gonna put both of these in on one line, which is an interesting way to do it. I usually put them in on the separate line, but there's how they're telling us to do it. And it says OK. Then you reboot your machine. Now you don't have to reboot your machine. I'll show you what to do. So we hit save. Now we might be able to do the same thing for our uh, VPN as well. So we'll go edit, and we're gonna go to IP4 settings for this. And we'll go ahead and stick our DNS in for our VPN as well. We're going to disconnect. So in disable network. Enable networking. And now if we go to information, we might see. So, so our secondary DNS is the one we selected. 208.67.222.222. Now this is why you want to change your DNS settings in your router because your router which in this case is 1.1 1 .1 and 1. you know 1.3 is ours but it's 1.1 1 .1. Um, you want to change these settings in your router as well and your modem and whatever to make sure that every all your traffic is going through uh, the DNS server so I went ahead and went to my blazing hog 4G LTE Netgear modem here and I switched from automatic to manual DNS servers and now I can go over here and I can select my two DNS servers here and stick them right in there. Then all I got to do is hit submit and it will save that and then I need to reboot my modem and it will use these DNS servers and pass that along to all my other devices on the network to help me to be more anonymous on the internet. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this you. Please click the links in the description of the video and go to ChristianCourts.com. Click the donate button because we need your help. Get the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. It's available anywhere. There's T-Mobile or AT&T signal within five miles of a cell tower or 20 miles with a repeater. Okay, it's really fast, especially in rural areas or areas where there's no other people around. It's just super, super fast. Okay. The other thing that you need to do is check out Straight Talk. I've got a coupon for Straight Talk, and if you use that coupon, you're going to get a month free worth of bonus points when you sign up as long as you enroll for the bonus point program that they've got, the rewards. And every time that you make a purchase, you're going to get more points as well. And then I'm going to get points. So if 10 of you sign up for Straight Talk, I should get two years of free service worth of points and you guys should get two months of free service each. It works on Sprint, it works on Verizon, and it works on T-Mobile and AT&T. Okay, it works on all four networks. You can bring your own phone, you can bring your existing phone, especially if they're unlocked uh, over to Straight Talk and you can switch between networks. All you gotta do is have either a GSM phone, a Sprint phone, or a Verizon phone and you can switch between the networks. AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM, so you can switch between them. I don't know if uh, Sprint is, but it's a really good deal. I pay $38 a month for unlimited texting and calling anywhere in the United States, and I also get two gigabytes of data plus unlimited slower data after that, which I've never used all the data as far as I know. Uh, you can get bigger, better plans. You can get uh, fully unlimited plans. Uh, from Straight Talk, but I only pay $38 a month. I use my Blazing Hog for all the other internet, okay? And you guys should do the same. You can also check out how to build a moped.com and how to win in court. Those are great resources as well. As well, please go to donate and help me out. I need a new computer and there's other things I need so I can keep bringing you guys videos. So thanks again and God bless you. Bye. First thing you need to know before you get into law is there is a resource out there you need to get so you have to know the basics of what they do and how they do it the lawsuit way to learn that there's a link in the description of most of my videos that says how to win in court and you might see a thing up in the corner of the video that you're watching um, over there a card or something and basically what it is is it's a thing you pay i think 250 dollars for i think a year of access to it you can go through the course in I'd say about a week. They'd probably say you can go through it faster than that. And you want to write down everything you learn. And uh, they've got like a lot of copyright stuff. So you, they don't want you copying the videos or anything. So I can't say to do that. 
but uh, basically you want to get through the program and get to the end and then if you know you paid for it and everything and registered it in your name they give you a fancy certificate or something at the end I guess that shows you completed the school and passed their tests but learning that learning the basics of that fills in all the gaps and gives you a good starting point before you learn law.